It's very easy to export the footage or video using the DG40 Media Player. All you have to do first, you select your um, the time in your timeline that you want to export. So let's say I want to get to get these events here. I'll select these uh, with my right uh, mouse button. I drag and I select the time that I want. Then on media exporting, you're gonna see that the time is already selected, or you can either enter it manually here. You can select which cameras you want to you want the system to export. Maybe you don't want to export all these four cameras. Uh, so you just select which cameras you want the system to export. And you select the format of exporting. So you can select native, MP4, AVI, or JPEG. On either format, there is a, um, a very interesting feature that's limited limit the media size. So let's say you're exporting the media to uh, a pen drive or a DVD. And obviously that... Uh, media is limited in size, but you can you can select this option here, and the system will automatically split the exported media on the size that you select. So if you're exporting uh, and recording uh, the exporting for ex the exported footage, for example, in a DVD, you can select uh, four gigabytes here. And then if your export exceeds four gigabytes, the system will automatically create different medias. So you can save and, and those medias into, the exp uh, into your physical uh, DVD, for example, without having to uh, go uh, into the hassle of exporting just a chunk of video and then exporting the next chunk of video. The system will do that automatically for you and it will export all the cameras synchronized so you don't have to worry um, into getting like different files or, or, or anything everything will be very neat um, organized for you if you select the native exporting uh, exporting uh, option the system will also include this player that you're seeing here um, with the exported footage so you're going to get all the executable files and and uh, your uh, exported da data, bookmarks, if you have bookmarks, they will also be added to uh, the media player, the exported player. You click export, you just select which um, drive you wanted to export and you click OK. Here you have a few options that you can add to the exported data. So you have the company name, you have the person who's responsible for exporting and a description. So, for example, suspect broke into the house. You can also protect the exported data with uh, cryptography. So when you select that, you, you, you have to provide a password, which will be used to encrypt the exported video. And you ha you the only way to review this video later on is to provide the password back so when you open the player it's going to ask for the password and you can also add a watermark to the exported image this watermark uh, what it does is it will add this text that you uh, whatever text you put in here into the exported images that will allow you to for example identify the source the origin of that image. So we're gonna hit OK and the system now started exporting the video. It's very quick to export a chunk of video. All the cameras are being exported simultaneously. All the tracks are being exported as well. If you have analytics tracks, if you have audio tracks, everything is being exported. So the, the export is done. Uh, it asks if we want to open the exported uh, media folder. We're gonna open the folder. Here we have the exported media and you have the player. You have all the information that you provided um, during the exporting and you have the footage including the bookmarks and because you have the full featured player here 
from the exported data, you can even do a thumbnail search or a motion search, or you can even re-export that video, let's say, uh, because you have the native uh, player, you can re-export it in MP4. Or you can make a JPEG um, ex uh, exporting also. All the frames of, uh, in JPEG will be exported, or you can print or apply image filters. You, ha you have the whole power of Digiford Media Player into the exported video. This is a very good, uh, very powerful way to work with your data.